like it. I don't know, his music for me never burns out. Like, it's still stuck in my head. If you open it, I would vibe to it. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't say, that song is so old. One time I was bumping Fetty up and one person came and was like, that song is so old. Why are you still bumping that shit? I was like, boy, your mom is old, but you still listen to her. <laughs> Rappers that everybody forgot about. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're going to be covering something really, really sad and questionable at the same time because we don't know why so in today's video we're gonna be covering rappers that everybody forgot about basically rappers that fell off like rappers that used to be in the top like like number one for one at some point then completely fell off like everyone forgot about them their music is not anywhere they're not talked about they're not on the charts nothing nothing their music is never talked about even though they still make music not rappers that quit music I'm making it that rappers that still make music but never get any hits that like basically fell off Nowhere, so you get what I'm saying. So, it's really sad. So we're gonna be starting with number one. The first rapper that fell off is Fetty Wap. Oh, yeah, 1738. Oh. Fetty Wap's fall off really made me sad. Like, he was one of my favorite rappers. When he first came out, his freaking album was no the first Divot album in the world to chart. To go platinum multiple times. Like, his album went gold. It was like the first album. And there's a new article about Cardi B being the second one after Fetty Wap. You can read it right here. I'll put it on the screen. I thought he was gonna go for at least five years, but I don't know what happened. People are really sleeping on Fetty. Like, to this day, I still listen to Fetty Wap. I don't care what anybody says. He still makes music. Some people say, oh, he still music. He still makes music. He's still alive. Yes, he does. And his music got better. I actually like his new music. But people are sleeping on him. To prove that, I even put his music in my outro like all the time check out my videos like from a month ago and all that all of them are in my outro it's really sad that he fell off so i'm gonna be telling you guys the reasons that might have caused him to fell off the first reason is when gucci Mane got out freaking fetty wap made a video saying he met gucci Mane, and after that he retired he quit he was joking by the way he said he quit no more instagram no more fetty wap nothing he made over five million dollars he got his new cars he he finished his life, he basically finished everything. He quit, that's what he said. You can check out the video, I'm gonna play it right now, or you can skip it. Yo, yesterday, I met Gucci Man. I met motherfucking Goo Wap. And that new drop, and I'm coming back like two pop. <laughs> oh, yo, my life is fucking finished. Your life goals. I'm done. I'm fucking super fucking rich. Girl, I made more than five million dollars. I met Goo Up. I got all my fucking dream cars. I fucking quit. Girl, I fuck. I'm, I'm deleting everything. Fuck Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. There's no more Fetty Wap, man. It's over, man. Squad. So he basically said he quit. But he was joking, remember? He never actually quit. It was a joke because his Gucci Mane inspired him and he was, was his idol. But most people took that seriously and actually thought Fetty Wap quit. After that video, Fetty kind of stopped posting music for like three months and people are like, really thought he quit. You see how 6 9 posts, posts a song every month and updates his fans? But Fetty didn't update his fans, just posted regular pictures. But he did, didn't mean he quit, he was joking. And after that, people forgot. People stopped listening to Fetty. That was at the end of 2016. And people like really stopped listening to Fetty. People thought Fetty quit, but he never quit. Real fans, the only ones viewing his songs. His music takes like three days to hit 100k. That's really sad, but I still listen to it. I don't care. Fetty Wap's music is still lit to this day, you know what I'm saying? He had so many hits. Trap Queen, 679, My Way, Again, Wake Up, and RGF Island. I can name so many hits. That's six hits I just named. I can name so many freaking hits. How do you get that many hits being the top number one rapper, the first one that gets an album going gold, like the first one in the world, your freaking song Trap Queen, yeah his song Trap Queen, went, went platinum seven times, you can check, that shit's crazy, barely any songs that, that go platinum twice, it's so rare for a song to go platinum twice, but his song went platinum seven freaking times, that's crazy, I can bump his songs repeatedly without getting bored, that's how much, how good his music is. And I still like it. I don't know, his music for me never burns out. Like, it's still stuck in my head. If you open it, I would vibe to it. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't say, that song is so old. One time I was bumping Fetty up and one person came and was like, that song is so old. Why are you still bumping that shit? I was like, boy, your mom is old, but you still listen to her. Oh! 
trying to calm me out when you listen to your mom and she's older than the song I listen to. Out of here, boy. The second reason he fell off is because his songs were getting repetitive. I I'm okay with that. Like, Drake, I don't know why people quit because of that. Because Drake sounds the same in every song. But people got bored because Fetty was sounded the same in every song. Like, kept repeating the... Yo, and people got bored of that. And, like, his music was, like, formulated. Like, every song, like, for example, every song featuring Monty, featuring Monty, featuring Monty. Like, it's repetitive so much. And, like, yo, yeah, 1738. Like, it gets so much. It's like the same song. You listen to the same song over and over again. And that's how most people probably felt. And, like, kind of swished up music and, like, forgot about Fetty. And, and he was saying A flow so much. Like, I think he was using them before A flows were big. Because, remember, X came out with Look, Look At Me and the A got bigger. Fetty Wap came with it before. He even has a song called A. He, he's the one that started that shit. And next we got Designer. No, honestly, I think Designer has a chance to come back. Like, when his song Panda dropped, that shit was number one. Him and Fetty were like, no, like, always in the top ten. Like, that shit was number one. Everyone was remixing that song. That song was crazy. It was everywhere. Like, I would, if, if I go back to the past, I would never think Designer would fell off like this. I don't know, it's like a one hit wonder, but he came out with Timmy Turner and it was one, it went one time platinum. One times platinum. Panda went five times platinum. Even earned them two spots on Kanye album. But since 2016, he hasn't been this that prominent at all. Like, he's gone. His music is not anywhere. He made a video saying what he didn't fall off and everything. But he literally dropped so many music videos after Timmy Turner. And none of them even hit 20 million views. And that's like a couple of months after Timmy Turner. Like, I don't know why. It's like, it's like they're, they have a limit for their fame. It's like, how do you... Your music was so good, and you just drop like, like randomly. Where did everybody go? And what pisses me off is most of these talented rappers that fell off, like Lil Pump is still relevant to this day. Gucci Gang, he should have been a one-hit wonder. But to this day, he still his lyrics are so bad. Like, he's not lyrical at all. And he, to this day, he still has more followers than Fetty and Designer combined, and he still gets more views. And I don't know how this is possible. Why is he still relevant? The responsibility is you fans out there. You guys are making these people famous and not giving credit to the real artists that that deserve this much credit. Next, we got Kyle from I Spy. Uh, dude, that song was so good. When freaking Kyle came up with that song with Lil Yachty, I thought Kyle would be, I was like, is this Kyle's first song? I thought Kyle would be in the t top rappers. I'm like, oh my God, Kyle has a big future. His song is doing this good and I liked his flow. I liked everything in that song. And I didn't know. One year later, he could he came up with a couple of songs. And these songs didn't chart at all. Barely hit one million. I wouldn't believe he's gonna be a one hit wonder. I thought he was gonna come in with more heat and blow up even more. That's why it was one of my favorite songs at that time. And to see Kyle go down is sad, man. And recently in 2018, Kyle dropped the album. And the album did sadly bad. Like even world star posted a picture saying happy birthday kyle his album dropped it like gave him a little hype but it didn't help him at all like he's gone so tough to come up when he fell off it's like really fetty wop six nine brought him back but still didn't even help him it still didn't even bring back his career it didn't revive him i still like fetty though you know what i'm saying <laughs> next we got that one hit wonder violent you remember watch me what watch me Nick. dude he is gone, bruh. Freaking one hit wonder. He only had one one overplayed song and people thought it was like cringy and shit. And his greedy ass. You know what he did? After dropping Silent Toe, he got too, too overconfident and was like, Oh shit, my song is doing this good? Alright. I'm never gonna post music for like a year now. I got enough money for like a year now. Then his dumbass posted a song six months after, after Silent Toe and it did really trash. Not even one million views. Really trash. I, when I mean really trash, not even a million views. You go from a song having one billion views to a song, to a second song that can't even reach one million views. Then he dropped another song like five months ago, 800k views. I feel bad. To be honest, the songs were not even that good. To be honest, I, I would listen to Silent Hill instead of all, instead of both these songs combined. Silent Hill is way better. I don't know what happened. Like, fell off quickly. At least he got something. You know what I'm saying? Next we got. Oh my God. Water. Billy God is a one hit wonder, but he dropped, he like, oh my, I, don't, I wouldn't say he technically fell off, he's like, he fell off, but still relevant, I don't know how, how that works, but like, 
Look at this picture. These rappers fell off, but somehow still relevant. Like, I don't know why. Their music doesn't even do that good. Like, he only has one music video that was a hit. It's Water. Only. Ugly God just posted snippets after. And didn't even drop a song, a proper song that blew up. And they're all features that he's in. Like, I don't know how he's still relevant. Maybe because he went to Clout Gang and was like, going with rappers like Lil Pump. You see Fetty, he just taking his life. He never clout chases. He just takes pictures by himself. Never goes with rappers and takes videos and like, makes features. Only one was with 6 9 And that was before 6 9 blew up. And what's it? We gotta be taking pictures of all these rappers that come out like Lil Pump, Lil Z, every rapper you can name. He be going to their house, making videos with them, making skits with 6 9 like all that. That's the reason he, that he's still relevant. And next we got, you know that song Juju on that beat? That was a hit, like the dance, that was everywhere. You know the people that made that song? They're gone. They don't even post music anymore. They're gone. After Juju on that beat, their music is not anywhere. Gone. No more hits. That was the only hit they posted. And they're like professional dancers and stuff. They started dancing, and after Juju on that beat, they dropped a mu like a music video dance. And it was 1 million views, then it started going down hell, then it peaked a little bit, 100,000 up, then that's it. They're gone. I thought they would last for a good time, but Juju on that beat was the only song they made. I forgot their names, but you can see them on screen, but they're gone, you know what I'm saying. Next we got Rich Homie Kwan. Remember that guy that used to be everywhere on World Star and featured with Lil Dicky and Fetty Wap one time they made a song? I would, he was doing so good, but now he went <laughs> downhill. But he lasted a little bit more than Fetty. But damn, son. It's sad seeing these rappers fall off. At least they get money though, like they, they're set for life. If I have a million dollars, I'm set for life. I mean, people are, teachers are making 60,000 a year. And if you're making 1 million a month, you're set, for, you're set for like 10 years. That's crazy, man. And last we got Young Ma. You call her Stephanie? Hey, I call her After Young Ma released her song, ooh, that's it. Her, her other music videos couldn't chart, only ooh charted. She only had ooh that I remember that charted, like really was everywhere. But the other songs did, didn't do good. And after that, she fell off. Like, no one talked about her. She wasn't getting posted. Like, that's it. She fell off. And in 2018, she makes a song called Petty Wop. And the song got 13 million in two months. Not bad. Not as good as, it, as she used to be. But she got 13 million in two months. You know what I'm saying? That's good. I would say I would be hella excited if I have th 13 million in two months. But still, for, for young my level, that ain't that good. I wouldn't consider her fell off, fell off, like fell off, like soft, not too hard, not aggressively, but fell off. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I made a prank on my sister, telling her she's going to help her listening to the Uzi Bird. And yeah. Time to pass!